Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Sunday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I'd want. And today, we're gonna be doing more of our Final Fantasy X to New Yevon run. It's time to get into the game. It's time for the game. The game time, it's the game time, let's go. Okay, so here we are. We were in, we did Moonflow last time. Yes, we're gonna load this file. All right, so we are gonna start off we're gonna start off, oh my gosh, it's, hang on, it's loud in my ear. It's loud in my ear. This game is so much louder than Sims, okay. All right, then I need to turn it up for you guys. Okay, there we go. All right, thank you so much for the alert, Koneko, thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna get back on the um, on the airship and we're gonna go to Bavel. We're gonna go to Bavel, okay. Um, Let's do Garment Grids. I just wanna make sure what I've got on here. Hour of Need, I think, is what we're doing. Yes, okay. Um, and we have Dark Knight, Dark Knight, Alchemist. Okay, yes, I did. must have done all this at the end of the last stream. It all looks good. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go to Bavel. Since we did New Yevon, we can actually do, um, we can actually get quite a lot in Bavel um, that we could not get otherwise. So let's witness the scene. Where could Praetor Barrel I have gone? Can I just can I just go up there? Uh sounds good. Alright. Sorry, Shinra, I made I made you walk, I just rode. <clears throat> okay, so he plays the comm sphere good. Where do I do I trigger the scene? Do I have to go in here? I must have to go in here to trigger the scene. And this is um this is only if you choose New Yevon. If you choose the uh, Youth League, you don't get this. You shoot away. Give us a straight answer. Where is Praetor Barrelai? Oh, you get just the scene. You don't Do get you to go inside. Do you plan on keeping this even from us? We're not keeping anything from anybody. He's really disappeared. Hey, say what you want. You're not pulling the wool over my eyes. You must know what's really happened to him. I can't tell you what I don't know. We don't have time to fight with each other. Not with the Youth League breathing down our necks. Don't try to change the subject. Besides, how can we hope to stand against the Youth League without the Praetor? If you still wants to play games, then we'll just have to make you talk. As soon as Barrel Eye's gone, they're at each other's throats. Some organization. Good point, Pain. Should we do something? Well, there aren't any fiends here. If we butt in, things will just get worse. It's the Kindergartians. I saw them. All right, so normally that's all you would do in Bavel in this chapter, but uh, because we chose New Yevon, we get to do more. So let's go back and let's go. It's gonna make us walk back there again. Yes, it is. We're surfing, like Ken. Lunar, how are you feeling by the way? Like, how's your voice feeling? I know you were, you did not go to church today, right? Because of, uh, because your voice, I assume it's still failing since you didn't say you're actually at church. Although maybe you are, maybe you're feeling better and you are at church. Maybe I'll think that. Tell me what's going on. I hope your voice is better. Losing, losing your voice is one of the most annoying sickness symptoms. In okay, so since we picked New Yevon, we can go in here and um, we're gonna first go up the lift. And if you talk to these guys, yep, yep, I think I'm talking to them. Yeah, maybe it's outside here. Oh, there we go. 
Electrocutioner. Okay, so that's one of them. And there's another item you can get up here. Must be talking to this guy. Hello. Raider's lift. Hypno crown. Okay, so we can get an electrocutioner and a hypno crown. Main lift set to direct mode. I can't remember what that does, if that what that does to the lift. Get on there. Alright, so then what we're gonna do is go this way, I think. We can make the lift go down. We're gonna go back down into that area that we went in at the end of chapter two. We need the lift to go down for that. Drive settings change. Okay, fantastic. Eee. And there's lots of treasure as well as a big treasure at the end. So we definitely want to do this. All right, back here, you guys remember? Oh, it took us to here, so you can skip some of it. Ew. Well, we don't actually want to skip it, I don't think. Not for what we want to do. Going back to my old friend. Good thing his animation, it's like so cool. She's like, yeah. And Pain's like so chill about it. She's like, whatever. Life is cool. Ha ha ha. But Yuna's like very determined, like this is something to do. she's doing her Dark Knight stuff. And look, we've got another one of Titus's swords. I love that. So what we're gonna do is Yuna is actually gonna learn all of the Dark Knight stuff. Um, Pain, we're just gonna get the passives, uh, because we are gonna do this particular setup um, pretty frequently. Wait, what was up there? That just literally like a quicker way yet where I wanted to go I don't I've never done it this way I didn't really like realize what was gonna happen it totally is it totally is a quicker way okay oh no we needed to do a new save data for today okay there are some treasure chests back there but I guess this is a quicker way so we can get a chocobo feather. Um, but I'm going to go back because I want to show those treasure chests that are in the other area. But I guess this way, if you do that, you can skip that whole other area. Which is cool. But we're going to backtrack through it, though. So this should be... Oh, it should be a battle. Darkness is so OP, watch this, like, BOOM! You just do a couple of darknesses and everything dies. May pain be my blade. Oh no, she's confused. Oh, but they're dead, okay. So it's cool. No problems. Okay, so this is a phoenix down. There's some potions. This will help us level up a lot, too. Running through Vivelle here. There's enough pain to go around. There should be a chest back this way, I think, up here. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is. I see it. I see it. You were hiding behind the little uh, thing there. How dare you, chest? How dare you hide from me? So rude. Bye, Skink. One. Yep. 
Goodbye. I could get used to this. Poison proof. That's the other thing that's like really, really cool about Dark Knights is like how much passives they have that are really awesome. So high potions in that chest. And there should be like three more chests down in the lower area. Well, why are we so close? Why are we so up close? It's kind of crazy. Riku can do them fast, 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 as an alchemist. Part of what makes her so cool. So when you do this, like, see how, like, look, look at how short her action bar is when you do that. It's amazing. No pain, no oh yeah, they both got poison this proof. Better be worth it. Don't worry, unit, it'll be worth it. You're gonna kill it. Alright, let's antidote. Potion up. We got a lot of high potions, so we can use those. Alright, let's come down here. There should be another chest down this way. My nose is so itchy today, I'm sorry you guys. Oh, I did not mean to hide it. That was a mistake. This had better be worth it. You can just your head. Let's open this chest. Yeah. You get 5k gil out of that one. Then let's go back to the beginning. There's two other chests back there. I guess there's no choice. Get him. Make pain do my blade. Go wings, take the goal! Go wings, take the gold. I love how um they poison me and then they drop an antidote for me to use on their poison. That's so nice of them. Alright, back this way towards the beginning of the area. It's down here. It's in the same spot basically as they were before. So exactly the same, just different stuff. No pain, no gain. chest down here. Oh. Pretty sure it's the Oath Veil. Or it's some remedies. The, the last two chests are remedies and Oath Veil, and I can't remember which one is which. My eyes are watering so much today. I, 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 I glittered myself too much. As if there is a clink. Sometimes you can, I guess, splitter yourself. Very hard to do, but it's
go check on Riku's abilities. Um, okay, Mega Potion. That's the last thing we really want her to get. And then she can go back to finishing up her White Mage. What's in the chest? What's in the chest? Remedies. Okay, the other one must be the Oath Veil. So let's go get that Oath Veil. Then we'll head back up. Hi there. Hi, Flans. Are you having a good day? They probably were, but not anymore. We're gonna be having a dip day today. We've got French onion dip. We're gonna make some tell dip. We're gonna make um. We've got some uh, some veggies with ranch dip. We're having a we're having a dip dinner. It's gonna be awesome. I should probably actually be paying attention, like who she's pushing. Instead of just holding the button down and letting them go. Oh, Riku doesn't have a lot of HP. I thought it would give her a little bit more. Okay, switch over to her. Potion, you know, one more time. Antidote. There you go, Yuna. Feel better. All right, so this is the Oath Veil. Vale. So now we can head back up to where we were and continue on. So since you can come back here in this, uh, if you choose New Yevon, this does give you another opportunity to get those, uh, all of those different accessories that we got when we were here before, like the ring, the W ring, and Bloodlust. So if you missed them and you picked New Yevon, then you have another opportunity well. to get them. But I think otherwise, either you don't get another opportunity or it's like a long time before you get another opportunity. So you can immediately come back and get them if you choose New Year. No problem. So that is a little bit of a benefit. Plus all these chests are fresh. There's enough pain to go around. I need to check how many passives it is. I think there's like four different passives. I think it's like also, in addition to the um, poison proof and stone proof that they already got, it's like dark, it's like a death proof and, and darkness proof maybe? Something like that. My We're gonna go look after this battle. Right. Okay. Alright. Go take a peek. Oh, confuse proof, confuse proof and curse proof. Oh, there's five of them. Poison stone, confuse, curse, and I'm, I know the last one's death proof. This car is 100% death proof. Get the benefit of it. You really gotta be sitting in my seat. That's what dark is. Before they kill the plants. Oh, 
darkness, my old friend. Oh, as an alert, we could have a hyper. Bomb core. Okay, we go back this way now. There's enough pain to go around. And there's no other way to use your items like your items faster than Alchemist. Like it's great. Like you can actually keep this setup that I've got right here with the two My um, Dark Knights yours. and one Alchemist, and like beat the whole rest of the game this way. Almost everything. Excuse me, that's what I found when I was playing this before. Like this is kind of an OP setup right here. So for people that, that like to just kind of like pick one configuration nice and stick with it, this is a good one. But I like to level up all the things as much as I can. Whee! All right, back up here. All right, we're back in the Dutch angle room. Very good, very good. Let's go. All right, and then we jump down. You know, go down the hole. And then there's nothing up here. It's gonna go down the chain. Wee! A bell roller coaster ride. And just like before, there's a bunch of chests that we have to climb around here and get. Boom. Excuse you, that bombardment was very rude. Unnecessary. Darkness. So this was tower one. Um, so if we go around, we're gonna go behind tower six again, and behind tower five, and behind tower three, just like we did before. Oh, yeah. My suffering mirrors yours. You know, so emo with her dark knights. All right, let's go over to Tower Six. Now, in the HD version that I'm playing, um, because this does take a while to get through, you might want to, in your playthrough, turn off uh, battles. You can totally do that. Um, I'm keeping them on so that we can be super OP and overleveled. But uh, you can totally walk through this area without the battles, and uh, that way it's like not as long. But it does take a long time. Oh my god, stop picking on pain! What did she ever do to you? She just wants to kill you. That's all. No pain, no Not a big deal. Oh my god. You're dead already. You didn't take it on a one that time. 
May pain be my blade. Miss, good. I think Dress Kick takes them out of battle and they do that right before they die, like every time. Injects them just like it does in 10, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go up here. Oh my gosh, another one. My suffering mirrors Let's do a mix. Let's do what we got, what we got. Let's do some um, Electra Marbles. See how he handles some low light. A little of this, a little of that. Thunderbolt. Boom. May pain be my blade. I guess there's no choice. Oh, she couldn't do her darkness. I sorry, pain. I sorry. I didn't kill you fast enough. Confuse proof. Nice knowing you. All right, no more, no more of those guys. Stay away. All right, so we come up here. There's a chest up here by the broken down big guy. 800 gil. like little frogs it's been raining Next. so much here there's these little there's these little frogs everywhere in the yard and um sometimes they make it into the house and we have to rescue them from the kitty cats we have to rescue them because otherwise the kitty cats will just play with them and put we try to put them back out we don't want to even if the cats weren't playing with them we wouldn't want to leave them in the house anyway because the poor little frogs will dry out inside why they come inside i don't i don't understand um but they do they do come inside, and then they have big regards. Because they get messed with, and they get dry. Instead of, like, when they're outside, everything's all good. I mean, I'm sure they get messed with outside, too. But at least they don't dry out. Stronger than you thought, huh? That's right, Yuna. But everybody does think you're strong, because you defeated Sin. Alright, so that was behind tower number six. Now we need to go behind tower number five, which is this one right here. Because remember, to count the towers, we um, go one, two, three, four, five, six, counterclockwise. I'm oh, sorry, no, clockwise. So we no walk pain, counterclockwise no and get one. Here we go. This way. Now this one, I think you can walk around him. So we're gonna try to walk around him and see what happens. Get dead. <gasps> no pain. This had better be worth it. Don't worry, I've got you. Get up. You're back. This thing hits hard. I feel like the other one hit me hard too.
There we go. Now he's gone. Alright, let's see if we can walk around this guy. I feel like we probably can. Yes, I think we can. Going at your yep, service. This is the bombardment guy. There's enough pain to go around. Get him. Come on, don't let him do that again. Take him down. There we go. Good chain. Alright, yeah, we can walk around him. We can't walk around the Tower 3 one, though, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so in here we have fairy earrings. Alright. So, am I healed up? Now I am. Let's fight him. He's going down, dude. You were so much bigger on the map. What happened? You shrunk it. Why would you do such a thing? This had better were you, be were you lying about your size? That's not very good. Definitely makes it seem like you got ego. Be okay, he went down pretty quick. All right, so we can go now to Tower Three. May pain be my blade. I feel like these guys right here have more HP than the, the big guys that are all imposing and stuff. Chain. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to find a little spot to press B to slide down. Yeah, heal you now. Oh, I should have healed. I was trying to heal Yuna again. I was trying to heal Riku. Do yourself. He's there is too much too much bubbles in my LaCroix. So that would be tower four right there. We don't need to go behind that one. Then this is tower three, right up ahead. No, I do still want to kill you. I guess there's no choice. Proof. The pain's gonna get curse proof soon too, because she's right behind you now.
Get back there. automatically unlocks it. Alright, what's well, once pain gets death proof, I'm trying to remember, do I want her back on gunner? I think I want her back on gunner. Yeah, this one you can't walk around, I don't think. You just have to attack him. Yeah, we'll put her back on gunner after she's done with this. growling like crazy. I did not eat enough for brunch today. Hope that microphone's not really bad. I don't think they'll hear it, but it's happening. And this is heated brooch. Okay, so that's all the treasures in this room. Now we can proceed down um, into the next kind of little area of the bell. on Riku. I don't take my finger my off the button fast enough. Zones. Oh, but it's okay. It sucks when they try to do the darkness and they can't. Like Yuna's about to do. And she's like, oh, nope. There we go. Let's do it again. No pain, no gain. Not, he hasn't nice he's missed that every time so far this thing. But I think it does eject them if he actually gets it. Although it's funny because it's at the very end of the battle, so like who cares? Alright, so that's all that. We're gonna go back towards tower one so we can hop down. And there are a few more chests down in the uh area where we were. May pain be my blade. Boom! Explode you before you can explode on me, but you get bombed. Oh 
good she's back. Well, not a Phoenix kill. So yeah, funny enough, best healer in the game, in my opinion, is not White Mage, it is Alchemist. And it's funny how in this game, that's kind of Riku's role, because White Mage is good for her based on her mascot, Dress Fear, and then, of course, Alchemist, naturally, you'd want to put that on Riku. You don't have to, of course. Anyone can be anything. But it just feels right to do. Oh, I took him down pretty fast that time. Guess I leveling up. All right, hop, hop, hop. Okay, and here we go. We're in the next area. And all these same chests are respawned as well. This one is. Ethers. This had better be worth it. Come back, Kane. We need you. And you see, because she has the bonuses for doing the items, like the Phoenix Downs, have way, they have way more health when they come back from that. So not only gets to do it faster, she like literally is better at using the items. It's amazing. This chest is still here, and it is remedies. I don't think there's anything to the east this time, because I think that chest does not respawn. So we're just going to head west, which is the right way. No reason to go the wrong way. My suffering here is yours. There's enough pain to go around. Well, she was going to go down to one, but she just didn't stay there because we healed immediately. Oh, he done. He's going to thrust kick and then die. Miss again. It's a wrap. works exactly the same way as when we were here before. No differences. All right, we do not have to complete this puzzle again. Not necessary. There is a chest in this corner though. So we're gonna go and grab it before we head on to the next area. So this is your another chance to get that ring and um, bloodlust. All right, Phoenix Downs. 
and we're gonna head over this way. We're gonna get on the left lift. And here we go, here's a chest right here. Remedy. Now, because we already got the um, Dark Knight dress sphere, we don't need to do the puzzle all over again. We can just do these blocks and uh, and then get on that lift, I'm pretty sure. We don't have to do all the running around, hopping down and all that stuff. But if you missed the dress sphere the first time, this is another good opportunity. Yeah, because we already raised those. Okay, let's save. Almost That's at the spirit. grand prize for coming back to the belt. Almost. It takes forever. Truly. There's enough pain to go around. Never underestimate you. Don't worry, you know we won't. This way. And back through here where we fought Bahamut. Hey, there's some people there. Is that the Kinder Guardians? I think it is. Let's go see what they're up to. This isn't a playground. We're not playing. We're the Kinder Guardians. We snuck in to look for spheres. Ta -da! During the confusion? Uh huh. There are fiends here, you know. Fiends? The kindergartens laugh in the face of fiends. Ha <laughs> ha! They might eat you. Well, I am not scared. Much. Plus, I already fought a bunch of fiends a few years ago. Hey, Lady Yuna, what is this place? I tried asking some of the new Yevon people, but they just ignored me. Well, I don't think many of them know about this place either. Mm hmm. They wouldn't tell you even if they did. What's that? Nothing, just call Wings Talk. I wonder if the Youth League knows. They probably know less than New Yevon. Then maybe I should tell them about this place. Yeah, go tell them. Okay, you're supposed to choose go for it. If you choose better not, then you don't get the prize. So you have to choose go for it. Okay, we will. Kindergartians, move out. Oh, you guys take this. Blood of the Beast garment grids. The only way to get this garment grid. So this is a new Yevon side exclusive well, we prize. Some grown -ups to surprise. <laughs> and that's it. I think you have to actually walk back out of here because there's no save sphere down there. So yeah, let's go. See if the safes were over here will let me go to the airship. Yes, okay, so we can board the airship from here. Um, but let's go ahead and save and check our percentage. We did get a little bit of percentage for that. We should be at 47, right at 47. So we're going to use our handy dandy tool that we love to go check that. Check it, check it. Yep, we're right at 47. Okay, fantastic. And let's board the airship. All right, I'm gonna let y'all listen to the music for a second. I have to pee. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere.
We're back. Okay. All right, so that's what you do in Bevel. So next stop, we're gonna go to Econel. Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help with something. I'm here, Nadala. Not fiends. Cacti. Marnala of the Cactuar Nation has asked to see us. We've been too busy here to spare anybody. If it's not a problem, I'd like you to represent us. What's the Cactuar Nation? Hmm. Don't worry if you haven't heard of it before. We've only recently established diplomatic ties. Benzo! This is our interpreter, Benzo. Very nice to meet you. Hi. He has such All a right. mature voice you for his, the size of his model. When will you ever learn to say no? Probably not. Because you're gonna like this thing. And it's not about being a pushover. Okay. So what we need to do is go over to the Cactuar Nation. Yes. Yes. And we're gonna meet Marnala. Place? It talked? <gasps> yes, the Cactuar Nation is made up of actual cactuses. What's going on? This is Marnala. I'll translate. Marnala, gre Marnala's greeting us. Hello, Benzo. I forgot these lines are not voice acted. She says, hello to you too, Sphere Hunters. I am Marnala of the Cactuar Nation. It does not surprise me that you are startled by the way she's smiling. We, the cacti of this nation, were once cactuars. As the cacti that sprout in the desert grow, they become cactuars. When the cactuars mature, they once again become cacti their roots digging deep into the earth. Thus, we have we watched over the sands of Bicanel Desert since the dawn of time. All right, so tell me, do you believe what I've told you? It make, That makes perfect sense. I believe you, Benzo. I believe everything you're saying. She says, thank you. You don't have to say that, by the way. I'm pretty sure either answer does the trick for it. All right, so let's talk to the cactus. I think Marnal is about to tell us why she called us here. A strange wind has been blowing through the desert. You too may have felt the sands trembling beneath your feet. A fearsome fiend that rests deep beneath the earth has begun to stir. In the depths it gathers its strength and it will not be long before it makes its move. And when the time comes, it will bring its wrath to bear upon the Cactuar Nation first. The reason it lusts for vengeance against us, it is we who locked it away beneath the dunes so very long ago. Oh my gosh, it's so dramatic. To be more precise, it was not us, but our ancestors who ruled this land in ages past. Its need for retribution will surely land it here. We must summon the great Haboob <laughs> and prepare ourselves for the coming menace. Only the cactuars known as the 10 gatekeepers can weave the magical barrier, but they are out training in every corner of Spira. We need your help to seek them out and bring them back. The cactuar mothers know where they've gone. Lose no time in finding the ten gatekeepers and returning them to us. That's all she has to say. Alright, mission time. This is kind of a long one. The ten gatekeepers have ventured into the world. Proper to train. We've, so basically we have to go find them all over Spira. Alright, the first one is here. I'll translate. 
I'm Lobivia's mother. Lobivia was supposed to head north from the oasis with his friend, but I haven't heard a thing from him since. Oh, I suppose Lobivia is always a bit of a wanderlust. It's probably off wasting time in some good for nothing place this very moment. Call it motherly instinct. That's the gist of it. All right, so then we can go back to the hover and we have to go find Lobivia. And you use the clue that they give you to figure out where they are. Uh, yeah, we're leaving. So to find Lavivia, we go to the Oasis. Okay. We don't really care about any of this other stuff right now. We just want to go to the Oasis. And there, there's Lavivia. We have to do this mini game that I'm really bad at. So uh, let's see how we do. What's a shoe pup doing in the middle of the desert? Oh, I can walk. You found Lavivia. All right, so here's what you have to do. You have to reduce his HP to zero by shooting it as the camera flips around. And you don't want to shoot the other things. Okay. I gotta hit it 10 shots. Okay, there we go. Press A to begin. Pact War is on. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit the shoe puff. Oh, I, did, I was supposed to dodge. Got him. Okay, it gets harder. The silly mini game gets harder. I'm not very good at it. But anyways, we got we got Lavivia. Um, he's finally cooperating. So they cooperate whether you win the mini game or not. Uh, so you really don't have to. There's only one of the mini games where you get like this really good prize for it that you might want to actually win. Is there anything else here? I feel like there was something else here. Is it just that he's just his shop? Yeah, it's just his shop. Uh, maybe next time. Oh, I have to talk to him to return to camp. I remember. You don't go to the hover. Return to camp. See you next time. All right, so now what we do is we gotta go back and deliver Lavivia to his mom in Cactuar Nation. I'll translate. Welcome home, Lavivia. Then again, you never left in the first place, did That's you? That's the gist of it. True. They were just in the oasis. Okay, so that opens the next Cactuar mother. So that's over here. I'll translate. She says that to Tomea's mother. Tomea always dreamed of seeing waters vaster than our little oasis, and now he's finally getting his wish. Sands wider than the desert, a gentle breeze glistening in sunlight, and more water than can be imagined. I can't wait to hear the tales he'll have to That's tell. That's the gist of it. All right, so I know where he is, but we are not going to go to him right now. We are going to go and collect him later. But I wanted to at least get this started so that it was good to go when we get to the next Cactuar, Tomea. At last. Yes. Um, yeah, it's time we left. Okay, that's all we're gonna do inside the Beaconel Desert at the moment. We can go ahead and head back now. All right, let's save and check our percentage. That should have netted us 0.4%, so we should be at 47.4. Let's check. Yep, that's exactly where we are. 47.4. Okay, fantastic. <clears throat> Next stop is Kilika. We got some treasures to pick up on these two boats, just like before. This one back here is an ether. 
And then this one over here is a mana tablet. There we go. Two mana tablets. All right, so we need to go up the stairs, dodge around all these people. We need to go up the stairs and around the corner. Oh, wait. It's not these stairs. It's the stairs over there. There it is. Some antidotes. All right. Is it these two? Yeah, okay. So they got this guy, he was standing on the other side before. On this chapter, he's on this side. So this guy, you can do publicity, you can do the fifth one. And here's the same lady as before. You can do publicity um, and the fifth one for her. And then for matchmaking, you can do the first one. There's a chest here with some eye drops. Then I think here. Yeah. Then there's another chest down here with some Phoenix Downs. Okay. This guy in the blue and yellow, you can also do publicity for. You can do the fourth one. And next, we're gonna talk to this lady. So remember we found the squatter monkeys before in chapter one? Since we did that, now we can do something with her. Yeah, 13. So many monkeys, I don't know what to say, but here's a little thank you. Chaos, Maelstrom, Garment Grid. That's how you get that Garment Grid right there. All right, so now we're gonna take the fairy to the other side. Sure. And we're going to go ahead over to the right side over here. There's a couple of chests and people this side too. Here's a chest right here. Some holy water. And then right behind that up the stairs is, some star, is a star curtain. And then if we come over here onto the boat... We can get Lunar Curtain. Let's talk to this guy. Yeah, let's look at it. It's a little closer to completion every day. All right. I think because we couldn't do it in Chapter 2 because we chose New Yevon, um, I think that doing that little thing is not going to work. Anyways, um, this lady right here you can do publicity and stuff with. So for publicity, you do the second one. And for matchmaking, you do the third one. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to go across here. And there is... Back here? Yeah, there it is. That should be light curtain. Two light curtains. Okay. Then this one is publicity? Yes. So the fifth one for him. And then if we come down here... This guy? Am I talking? Is it this guy? Yeah, okay. Green shirt guy is the fourth for publicity. And then blue shirt guy is the fifth for publicity. Okay. So that's all we're going to do there right now. That doesn't get us any percentage or anything, but that lets us finish up like getting chests and doing the um, matchmaking and publicity for killing them. That's it, we're gonna board the airship. All right, we're gonna go to the actual next place for progressing and getting some percentage, and that's going to be Xanarkin Ruins. Now, if you did not do the monkey, uh, the monkey mission previously in chapter two, then you can do that. But the main thing you have to do here is make sure Shinra puts down his, uh, Tom Spear, which she does. But then we're also going to go and uh, and talk to Isaru, because you can get some percentage points for doing that. So let's go into the dome. There are some chests here as well. Oh, 
let me check where I am with my abilities. Okay, she's very close. Yep. Riku's still got a little bit to go on the Mega Potion, and she's pretty close to Death Root. A little over halfway. Okay. So maybe the battles in here will get Pain done with those Dark Knight passives that I wanted her to get. We'll see. Should be, yeah. I was like, there should be battles in here. Okay, there are battles. Oh, as far as Kalika goes that we just did, the way to do it without making sure, without triggering the hotspot is just don't go talk to Donna. So don't go talk to Donna and you'll be able to do like just the chests and stuff like I did. All right, this chest right here in Xanarkin though is some Dispel Tonics. I'm on a roll. I like to take out the Watchers first. I don't know why. I don't think it really does anything. I feel like I read in a guide somewhere that taking out the Watchers first was good to do. Um, but I feel like yeah. So if anybody knows, uh, give me a comment or tell me in the chat. Let me know. Why is it that, that, uh, that they recommend doing that? They don't really seem to do anything, so it doesn't really make sense to me. Well... Let's go. I think with Dark Knight, she can just kind of progress through. Yeah. At least for right now. All right. Let's keep going. We'll switch Pain over to Gunner as soon as she learns Death Root. This chest is some Phoenix Downs. I think Hisaru is just in the next hallway. Oh, here's some chests here. All right, some high potions and some S bombs, some S bombs. What's up, Asaru? I've heard that fiends have been appearing at the temples. Do you know anything? They're coming from the chambers of the faith. It pains me to hear that. And Zanarkand? There are fiends as always. No more. No fewer. Hmm. But the ruin tours are another matter. The only things thriving here are the monkeys. To make matters worse, Sid ran off a while ago and hasn't come back. <gasps> I guess that makes me Xanarkin's lone defender. Well, time to do some defending. Until next time. Oh, sorry. You don't have to relegate your life to this. You can do other things. Oh, there's some more chests. This is some st a stamina spring. And this up here is some remedies. You can see the monkeys are still in love. This is lunar curtains and um, mana springs. There's chests here too. Yep. Light curtains. And then this chest up here. This is the one that the kindergartens won before. Let's see what it is. 2k gill. Nice. So they're spending 10 gill on the on the the clue was worth it for them. Because they got 2k. There's some more chests in here. Withrill Bangle. Phoenix Downs. High Potions. Remedies. Remedies. E 
ethers, and I'm pretty sure that's everything. Like, I don't think there's anything in the last room. Go take a peek. Make sure. But I think that's it. It's just talking with Isaru. Um. And then... And then that's it. We can go back. It should have gotten us 0.2%. So let's do a save, and we will make sure that that's the case. All right, so 0.2% should have us at um, 47.6. Yes, okay, we are. Sweet. Um, I love trying to jump like right at that musical moment. Okay, so next stop on our treasure hunting is to Thunder Plains. So there are three treasures in each of the um, areas of Thunder Plains. You came back to help me calibrate the lightning towers? No, I already did that. I already got my garment grid for that. We, you, you can't trick me. You can't trick me. I'm not doing any more. Don't. There, I don't need to. Okay. Over here. By the water? Yeah. There it is. Echo screens. Let's go talk to Sid, too. You don't need to. Like, it doesn't do anything. But, um, I just want to. Ugh, are you still bummed out about that, Pops? Who asked you? Let's go. Yuna. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Oh, he apologized. That was nice of you. Yeah, I can forgive you, Sid. All right, this chest over here. High potions. There should be one back here to the left. There it is. Safety bit. Alright, we are just going to continue on. Not even go to the travel agency, there's no need. There is one thing we need to do in the north part, um, and that's what actually gets you the percentage points, I'm pretty sure, not the conversation with Sid. I don't think the conversation with Sid is worth any percentage points. I'm pretty sure it's just this one scene up at the north area. My suffering mirrors yours. Dun, dun, dun. I thought there was a chest right here. Oh, there is. You just have to walk back a little bit. Okay, so there's this chest hiding right here. There's some Phoenix Downs. This way. I think there's another chest over here. Yeah, there it is. This one is. Some dark grenades. Alright. And then there is another chest, last chest of this area, over by the gazebo over here. But the gazebo is also where the scene is. So, let's see. It's Leon and Aid! Hey, guys! You guys better watch out. With horns like that, you're just asking to get struck. Oh, true. Leon and Aid left Mountain to find a way to repair Elder Kimari's horn. We cannot return to Mountain until a way is found. And you expect to find that here? Yes. Where does Lady Yuna think we should search for a way to fix Elder's horn? All right, we're gonna tell them Kilika. Uh, what's in Kilika? Mm hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> just a hunch. No idea. Leon and Aid go there to look. Thank you, High Summoner. You're welcome, Leon and Aid. Come, Aid. <clears throat> All 
All right, then the last chest is over here. Ethers. I'm on a roll. Oh, oh, a chocobo. Ah, dang it. Too slow. Thought I was gonna get more chocobo. But no chocobo. Ooh, death poop. For peace. Alright, let's go to the garment grid. We have gunner on there. We do have gunner on there. Perfect. Okay. Let's equip pain with gunner. I don't remember where she was on this. Oh, okay. She just got those two left. Okay, awesome. Alright, she's gonna learn. She's gonna finish out gunner too. That'll be good. I think I, I think I don't want to zone into Makalania because I think zoning into Makalania is going to start um, another thing that I don't want to do quite yet, if I remember right, for this chapter. So that's why we're running all the way back. We should be at 47.8% now. Let's check. Yep, 47.8. Okay, fantastic. Get back on the airship. Whee! Okay, you guys. Next, we are going to the dreaded place. We're going to Luca. If you know what's here, then you know. You know how challenging this is going to be for me. Because as you know, I cannot count. And I have to count. Okay. Let's go. No reports of fiend activity here. I guess there's no guild to be made in Luca. Everyone's worked up about some kind of sphere breaking contest. That's sphere break. You should enter. The grand prize is a dress sphere. Great! I've been practicing. Well, let's go take a look. about sphere break and now it's just about time for the competition to get underway help me shalinda oh you first here to a help word me, from our sponsor lord Rim. yeah thank you i need it but I, I i know how to win this you make multiples of you make three you make multi three multiples so you can get the three echoes that's how you win we're not going to do the tutorial. We're not going to waste time with that. I We're just going to play. Forward to a fair competition. May the best man win. Thanks, Rin. That's going to be me. Good time. Hell yeah. Good milk, do we? <clears throat> okay. So I know who I know who I want to play. Um. Yep. Thanks for the coins. Okay. Got the coins. All right. Um, no, I don't need help. Thank you, though. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is the guy behind the statue right here, we're going to fight him. I feel like playing against my sphere. Um, okay, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get to it. Start. You can do this, Karen. You can do this. <sighs> okay, so it's a two, so I want odd... Um, even shit. Oh, wait, no, that was just a dispel tonic. Okay. <laughs> Turn two is a six. Okay, so I want, um, five, uh, six, seven, eight, 12, 
Yeah, is there a three down here? Yes, three. Okay. We're still on the third echo. Okay. Echo bonus. Thank you. Seven. Okay. So five. Um, ten. Uh, ten. Yep. And then we can do two. Right? No, that's twelve. Shit. Um. Shit, I fucked up. I'd have to get six. Six. I fucked up my echo. Okay, turn four. Eight. Um, okay. So if we do six, nine, it's gonna get me 15. Uh, and then I do another nine. Right? Yes. We're back on the echo. Turn five, seven. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, I have to choose this. So five, seven, 12, 13, 14. Two, okay. Echo bonus. All right, three. Um, they get me to 13, 14, 15. Two. Echo bonus, okay. Um, five and a six, it's gonna be 11. 16. Uh, shit. Messed up. No echo. Five. Four. Yep. Okay, turn nine. Need one more. Okay, five. Uh, six, seven. Should be it. And I win. I win! Oh, okay. Yep, you lost. Okay. Now we're gonna go, there's an old man over here. Over this way. I'm gonna save before that though, so I don't lose my singular win. <laughs> um, we're gonna do this, this old man right there next, because he's another easy one. We're gonna do these, there's two easy ones, and then we're gonna try to beat the dog. Um, so that we can get some of the garment grids, because there's two garment grids you can get from playing these sphere breaks. You can get treasure hunt, um, and you can get the white signet garment grids. So we're going to try for those. Okay. Let's go fight the old man. I'm gonna count right this time so I keep the triple, keep the one, two, three as my echo, because that's that's how you win. That's how you win. You won't find another player here older than me, that's for sure. But doesn't mean we can't have ourselves a nice little match, does it? Okay. That would be lovely. That's the spirit. Okay. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. Alright. Looks like it's three. Okay. Let's do three, and then this one. All right, turn two, um, seven. So we'll do a five, and then a six, and then 13, 14, and then a three. Okay, nine. We'll do an eight. Eighteen. Five. That worked out. That worked out. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Uh, turn four looks like it's nine. So nine. Okay. So we can do... No, it's a six. Okay. Uh, if we do... We don't want to do six. We want to do three... Six. That takes me to nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, fuck. Fucked it up. Can we do it? Will nine work? Yep. Nine worked. Okay. Whew. Okay. We did it! So you can complete it very, very fast if you just get the echoes. <laughs> so that's how you win. Okay. Is that any way to treat an old man? I, I mean, dude, I have to beat you. I have to get the Lady Luck Dress Sphere. Okay. 
We're gonna save again. Because what's gonna happen is once I beat the third opponent, it's gonna automatically put me against Shinra. And then I basically, once I get to the end, towards the end of the Shinra game, if I don't think I'm going to win, then I have to save Scum. That's how we did it before so that we didn't have to redo both those matches. All right, let's go. All right, doggy. I'm gonna kick your doggy ass. At this counting game. All right, here we go. Are you looking for someone to play? How splendid. Oh my, you're a bit mistaken. The core sphere isn't mine, it's the dog's. Okay, sure, I'm game, let's go. Let's go, pup. Let's go, doggy. Okay, here we go. Triples, 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 triples. Okay, turn one, that looks like a five. So, if, yeah. So it was six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we'll do this eight, and we'll do this one. 15. There we go. Turn two is eight. Um, so we'll do a five, and we'll do um, a five. Yep, and then we'll do, is there any sixes on the board? There is, so do this six. Okay, echo bonus. All right, eight again. Okay, five. Let's do a six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, shit, let's do six and six. Get to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and then a four. There we go. Oh, got white segment. Yes. Okay. We're going, we're going, we're going. Two. Okay, so we need to do an, uh, we gotta do an odd and an even and an odd. Okay. All right, one. Fuck you. Why? Why you fuck me over with ones? Two. Okay. Anyway, odd. And then we need an even. Um. And then an odd. Threw in my echo. Okay. Eight. So if we do five, and we do eight, we do three. Okay. So five. So if we do... Okay, so if we do six... Nope. Six, uh... Let's see. Fuck, I'm gonna fuck it up. Whatever. I had, to, I had to move. I had to move. Another one. It doesn't matter because there's another. It's another fucking one. <sighs> Two again. Okay, so we do odd, even, odd. Six. Okay. Go. Got the echo. <clears throat> Five again. Okay. So if we do six, nine, fifteen. Fucked it up. I shouldn't have done nine. Should have done like a six and something else. Okay. It's two again. So we do odd. There's an even number. Um, even number. And then an odd number. And fourteen. Okay. Fuck, we're gonna fail. enough echo bonus to do it? It's not. It's not. Okay. Um. I... 
Is that enough echo bonus? Nope. Failed. Okay. Go away, game. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna beat the doggy this time. <clears throat> The autosave at the start of the match? This is 53. Yeah, because this is a few seconds later. Okay. This is at the start of the doggy match. <clears throat> All right, let's go. We can do this. Turn one. Seven. Okay. Uh, 13, 14. Okay. Seven again. Um, so we start with six. And we need... Yeah, six. Okay. Next. All right, five. So if we do six... I need a... And then a six, right? Yes. Okay, five. So if we do uh, six, um, it's not going to work. We do a six and a seven. 13, 14, 15, there we go. Ha ha, got it to work. One! Stop doing ones, you ruined my echo. Make me lose. Five, and six, We did it. We did it. We beat the doggy. Now, time to try to beat Shinra. Say so, Shinra. Once I outplay Yuna, the tournament is mine. Get him, Yuna! You're going down. The probability will win is slim at best. I lean back too far. Okay. Ears are back on. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> let's go, let's go. We can do it. I'm so scared. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Seven. Okay, we'll do a five, a seven, and then a two. Turn number two. We'll do, we got a six, okay. Five. We'll do an eight. 
18, and then a 5. Echo bonus. Okay. 7. Okay. 5. Uh, let's see. 8, and then a 6. Okay, 8. Um, 5, we'll do a 7. 14, 15, 16, and then we need this 4. Okay, turn 5. 5, okay. So if we do... to be 13, then... Two. All right, eight. So six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten here. No, let's do a seven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yes, three. Okay, we're still echoing. We're still echoing. Okay, this would be. So if we do six. And then five, and then 14, three. Okay, three, okay. And then 15, 16, 17, 18, four. All right, here we go, here we go. <gasps> First try! First try! Oh. First try! That did not happen when we played before! Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm getting better at counting, you guys. I don't want to say that, but maybe I am. It could be, it could be possible. Lady Luck, here and we come! And the winner of the first Fair Break Tournament is... I summoner Yuna. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. Presenting the reward is our sponsor, Lord Rin. Thanks, Rin. Look, need Dimiduk. Thank you. And we even got one of the rare garment goods from this. We got the um, treasure hunt. We didn't get white signet, but I think, I think, or maybe we got white signet and not treasure hunt. We gotta go look. Okay, let's go, let's go look at our garment grids and see which ones. Okay, there's two of them that you can get, treasure hunt and white signet. Yeah, we got white signet, but we did not get treasure hunt. Okay. You can try again for these in chapter five. So I'm just gonna like mark this so I don't, I don't forget that uh, that we didn't get it. Okay, there we go. All right, so in addition to doing that little thing here, there are uh, more, there's a little bit more to do in Luca with getting treasure chests and um, doing publicity and stuff. So the first treasure chest is right over here. Lunar curtains, yay. And then up here, There's two, it's right, it's these guys, okay. These two ladies right here, the one in yellow, you can do the third publicity and the second matchmaking. And then this one right here, you can do the fifth publicity and the third for matchmaking. Okay. And then we're gonna go down here. <clears throat> All right, and there's a few more in this area. This one's one of them. This guy in the white hat. Oh, wait. Maybe this guy in the white hat? I thought it was a guy in the white hat. Hang on. Hmm. Well, anyway, this little boy is definitely one of them. Or you can do fourth for publicity for him. Have sworn. Is it this white hat? It must be. It's this white hat. Okay, so for this white hat, you do publicity and then one. Alright, um, and then there's this lady right here. 
think. No. This one. No, wait. It's this one, it's this one. Okay. So this lady right here, you can do second on um, publicity. And then... Oh, wait, I did it backwards. It was supposed to be second on matchmaking and fourth on publicity. Where's my last auto save? <laughs> Where's my last auto save? If we start over, do we still win the tournament? Hang on. Hang on, let's go look at our saves real quick. I messed it up. I, be I, I did it backwards. Okay, let's go look at our saves. Hopefully there's an auto save from um, after winning the tournament. Go look. Oh, I can't see it from here. I can't see it from here. Okay. Well, let's make let's make some new save data. <laughs> and uh, and let's and let's restart. See if we can if we can fix that situation. We might not be able to. We might just have like messed up the publicity and not not going to get max, which is fine. Like we don't really need the max. I just wanted to show it to all to you guys, you know. Auto save Luca outskirts. This is just from me zoning into it. So there probably was an auto save and I totally fucked it up. So if we come from here, this is before fighting either of those. Okay, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, zoning into there did an auto save. So anyways, it's not worth it. So that lady, when you do publicity for her, you're supposed to choose the fourth one and the second one for matchmaking. So we're going to do the matchmaking correctly. But um, unfortunately, that means we're not going to do the publicity. It's not going to be maxed. She still liked that answer, so we did get some points from her, just not the maximum number of points. All right, so back to her. We do if we do it again, does it does it work? Is it supposed to be the fourth one? You've already made your pitch. Yeah, she says fuck you. Okay. Well, anyway, it's the second one for this one. And then the next one is there's a, someone walking around. It's this one. Uh, no, come back. Where are you, my dude? It's, it was him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not you. There, there we go, this one. Okay, so for him, you can do publicity on the fifth one. <gasps> There's French onion dip. Oh my God, it's so good, you guys. Mm. Okay. So after that little mistake, now we're gonna go to the stadium area. There's a couple of ones up here. So this lady right here, if you do um, publicity for her, you wanna do number two. And matchmaking, you also wanna do number two. There's also somebody, the same, I think it might actually be the same guy, you just do it twice, but it's in yellow. Yeah, it's the same model. Okay, come here. And you can do publicity, the third one for him. And that's it. Now we should be at 48.6%. Oh wait, I wanted to save here. Cause I didn't mean to make that number six. Oh, but they, they move around. Okay, yeah, we're on save file number five. We'll use save file number six next week. Okay, we should be at 48.6 now. So let's go take a look. 
Yes, we're at 48.6. Okay, so I am going to take a little bit of a stretch break. For y'all watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.